in an Olympia neighborhood thousands of miles from Ukraine. I keep his artwork and I mean, he has just tons of pictures. This bedroom is waiting for an 11 year old boy. Anna and Jose Ramos say is sleeping in an orphanage cut off from food supplies after attacks destroyed bridges nearby. You never would think you would tell your kid to stay away from the windows or him calling me when artillery is shooting off and the sirens are going off saying, Mom, I'm going down into the basement. And I, yesterday I had to drop to my knees and pray. The Ramos family hosted him for a summer through a service organization and knew they That's were meant to adopt him. We didn't realize how much we would fall in love how much he would fall in love with us. Legally, we cannot share the exact location of the orphanage or show his face or name, and they Just technically can't call them their son or brother yet. But to them, he's already family. Yeah. I want to hug him. I want to make sure he's safe. I want to tuck him in at night. Through a phone they gave him, they've kept in touch. And he said, I love you. And I said, I want you home. I I'm trying everything. I pray without ceasing, and I'm not going to stop trying. And he said, OK but the past few days have been unbearable. I need to know that he will get food, that he will be safe, and that he is not forgotten. He needs to know people care. These kids need to know that they're loved and cared about. She says the orphanage is running out of supplies as they wait for help. We need our leaders to, to help. We need um, senators, Congress, we need people to write them. We need action taken to find a way to get these kids to safety and then once they're safe to make sure that they can still be adopted until then this room full of clothes and toys will sit waiting for the little boy they love they're calling on people here at home to contact congressional officials and anyone else who can call for humanitarian aid steve